And today, ElectroPages is here at Munich 2022 Electronica, and I'm joined by Dag Pedersen, and this is Mascot, and we're going to be looking at the products that they're currently offering. So, please introduce yourself and what it is that we're looking at today. Yeah, um, my name, Doug Pedersen, already said. Uh, I'm the marketing manager for a um, company that manufactures uh, power supplies and battery chargers, as is on the table. And uh, we're here, um, this is the uh, Hall A4, mm -hmm. full of battery chargers and power supplies. Uh, we've been here for uh, way longer than I've been here, but I've been here for the 11th time. That means Blimey. that it's past mm -hmm. 20 years. And um, it um, hasn't changed much, uh, a little bit on the outlooks and whatever, but um, uh, still much the same. And, um, and for that, uh, the products, yeah, they've changed a little bit too, but uh, uh, the, the core essence of it, power supplies in the work, and uh, that's what we do. The um, uh, main business that we are into with power supplies are what on the table are chargers. Hmm. And uh, with the chargers, uh, uh, we use, uh, uh, we have chargers for lead acid batteries, we have chargers for lithium ion, nickel metal hydride, uh, and uh, whatever the customer requires of us. But those are the basic uh, family, if you like. So, yes. so what kind of challenges um, do you find that engineers who approach Mascot have? What, what, what is it that they, the problems that they face? Well, uh, as a, take battery chargers that we make the most of and we, uh, we make our living out of. Um, mm. Challenges are um, abundant. Um, uh, anything from what kind of batteries, uh, the application, uh, how long you need the battery power for, um, what, uh, uh, is it in an environment that uh, would require that it would be uh, waterproof? Uh, uh, there are really uh, a whole slew of things that, uh, that comes into mind. And then we haven't even talked about price and quantity uh, and uh, delivery times and, and so on and so forth. But uh, typically come, people come to us uh, with a request for either they have batteries or uh, we have to then talk them into it. Uh, and then uh, we need to know the kind of uh, specifications, uh, uh, how many cells of batteries, uh, power do they need? Um, have they thought about uh, this and that? Certifications, uh, will they sell it to the US? Um, do they sell to wherever? Um, we have um, a lot of dialogue that goes into, that is more just uh, uh, product performance and price. Um, and one thing I've noticed that you said was um, you talked about you know the different types of, uh, different types of batteries that you need to work with if it's something like a lead acid or a lithium ion. Um, does that mean that uh, mascot? Do you do like custom power supplies then for for consumers? I mean, sorry, sorry for customers. Sorry, do you do the uh, custom designs for your customers? Yes, we do. Um, as we have a catalog of let's say um, 100 plus standard products. Yeah. Um, there are some advantages to select a standard product. We have them in stock and so on. Uh, but there are also advantages of having a custom design, uh, let's say, to change the plug, yeah. making sure that uh, that unit will not go into any other plug or any other unit that you may not uh, want the customer to do. Mm. Uh, but in, in, in essence, we, we are very often um, customizing a standard unit in smaller or bigger ways. Mm. Um, to make sure that the, the, the customer gets what they want. Sometimes uh, even the customer may not know exactly what they want and we have a dialogue about uh, how to make sure that it's uh, uh, optimized. Um, maybe a little stronger um, unit would, um, would be beneficial, uh, wouldn't charge for so long, uh, this kind of stuff. Um, so there's, uh, there's uh, a lot more to it, but um, that uh, uh, it's very hard to say it's a norm, but uh, we meet every week uh, with all the requests that come in from our customers. And uh, we do, can we do it? Uh, uh, is this something that uh, is, uh, uh, can anyone do it? Um, uh, can we meet the target price? Can we meet, meet the other targets that they, so there's, uh, there's a lot of um, good dialogue, quality dialogue. Uh, as a marketing guy, I'm not necessarily all that involved in that because it's, uh, a lot of technical questions, yeah. Um, but they're they're on both sides. Um, uh, that uh, we have um, a good filtering process to make yeah. sure that um, uh, when the customer signs off on a on a on a sample and, uh, and approve it by that, uh, we ensure that uh, this will work. 
Oh, brilliant. And, and so, um, so the products we've got in front of us, are they, is it called the Blue Range or is it the... Yeah. The, the, the Blue Line, uh, Blue yeah. they are, uh, from the bottom at least. Uh, and the, 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 simple is that they, uh, the simple fact is that they, uh, is a, uh, they, they meet all the current standard uh, and certificates that needs to, to go with most, uh, most products. Um, uh, their emission standards, their um, there are um, different kinds of uh, certificates that you need to have or yeah. most people want to have. But uh, it's, a, it's like a limbo dance. Um, uh, the um, energy efficiency of uh, these units are uh, 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 quite extraordinary compared to units that were be 10, 15 years ago. So what, what's the, what kind of efficiencies are we talking here? We're talking about uh, how much power will go from the wall socket and out to the, to the oh, unit. So I, yes. I meant in terms of numbers, so I like it, are we talking percent, so 95%, 90%, what are we? Almost, 92%, 92%. Is, the, is the current level, and uh, the limbo dance will probably go to 95%, 95. next time. That's not now, but uh, the, the issue is, uh, if you, uh, you want to be um, uh, you know, selling a system, yeah. uh, and uh, they don't meet the current requirements, you will be not allowed to sell them. Mm. So there's, uh, there's these uh, gatekeepers of, uh, uh, national, international uh, requirements. And this is this is like the European uh, the European Union. Uh, the, the, the rules are introduced uh, like like the if energy efficiency rules. Yes. Yeah. And and the energy efficiency rules are uh, from the European standards. They're American standards. Yes. Um, of uh, so so you have to uh, sometimes and quite often actually um, they're they're global requirements. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so uh, if you have the one, you need to have the other. Many of our customers will also be interested in selling to the United States. They maybe have a UL listing hmm. uh, certificates that um, um, not necessarily always come with the product. But uh, yep. we have based our blue line uh, to make sure that it meets the, the most common standard requirements. Um, uh, plus that they have the, the medical uh, certificates hmm. uh, and the medical certificates per se, not necessarily that you want to use it for a medical product, but with the medical certificate, it has a special um, uh, requirements for the um, components that you use. Uh, medical basically says that there, there are no cheap components. And um, so what you've units. got, and so what you've basically created are a range of power adapters that are using the, some of the highest grade components in the market. They're able to, to sort of target a lot of countries simultaneously. Uh, and, 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 and it gives engineers the ability to have a broad selection of where and when they can use those charges. Correct. And then you don't have to uh, nickel dime you by saying, oh, you want that component or you want to have this. Exactly. Uh, it basically, it's a it's So it's a almost like level. a form of standardization. Yes. To try, to try and make it, yeah. uh, to try and almost reduce the number of, of, of options that an engineer has to make it easier to target more applications. And then, uh, like, would be in the car business, uh, it's like more of a um, high-end cars that, uh, you, you know, that uh, it, it will not uh, fail the first uh, trip um, most of the time. And uh, that's, that's, our, um, that's our approach to the market or way to do that. So let's suppose an engineer wants to go ahead and, and think about design, getting their own uh, power supply custom designed by a mascot. What is it that you would recommend that the engineer does to start off with? Well, um, it's hard to start a dialogue with if uh, the, the engineer doesn't have a specification. Right. Um, so they need to know what uh, kind of power requirements uh, are needed, yeah. uh, where the product will go in terms of uh, worldwide or global, uh, what kind of applications. Um, if you're then talking, obviously, like with batteries, um, uh, do they need, how, how's the charging cycle? A lot of these things into the specification to, um, to have that thought through uh, because that, that would help the dialogue immensely uh, because uh, then we would have a clearer picture of, uh, of what product uh, would be uh, suited for the application. And so, and so engineers basically need to make sure they understand the application that they're working in, the, the, the specifications of that application, like voltage ratings, expected efficiency, uh, and the current they require. And then once they've got those details under wraps, they can go ahead and come to Mascot and say, I need this power supply. It has to, ha it has to follow these spe uh, specifications. Can you guys do it? And then you guys will take that away and then start to think about designing it. Mm. Brilliant. Um, and any other advice do you think you could give engineers out there? Uh, besides the, the specifications, is there anything else you'd like to say to an engineer out there who's thinking about getting a custom PSU? Uh, 
Um, no, not really. Um, I, I think in, uh, in that there's a, there's a core essence that uh, that will just jump really start. make sure you get the specifications. Yes. It's so important because uh, the if you, if you then you know we go all the way through to uh, to a sample and yeah. say oh by the way uh, it needs to be waterproof. Mm. Uh, yeah. Well, mm. game over. Exactly. You start over. You know, and it's the, like the Monopoly game. You go back and you start, start again. all over again. Yeah. Interesting. So so I think in that uh, to think those things through. But it's also, and, and, yeah. and um, I, I guess uh, uh, the, um, uh, no, not, not really. I, th I think in the, most of the times it's about replacing a unit and then they need to think um, future. Yeah. Uh, where, how long did they see the, the uh, duration for the, this life cycle for the product? Um, so we can think about that. And so, and so age is also important as well. So like, you know, um, if, you, if you expect yeah. your thing to be lasting for the next 20 years, you might have to make slightly different design choices that, that may, maybe minimize the, the, the long-term damage that the, that the supply faces. 20 years is long, awfully long time. It's a very long time, yeah. <laughs> I had to pick a time in the top of my head. So, no, that's fine, that's fine. I, I, I think, you know, the, uh, as, uh, as these requirements change all the yes, time, um, no, not, not so much about the time, but uh, the kind of uh, uh, growth and how you want to, um, Think of uh, maybe uh, even um, like quantities for s if this is a product that uh, really becomes successful. You know, we need to have thought about that too. So you say, well, I need uh, 100 pieces. Well, if you actually need uh, way more pieces, that, yeah. you know, the things that we need to talk about for um, for sourcing. Yeah. yeah. And I suppose my final question comes down to, if you are, well, what is it about the the how do you say this? In terms of the the, the selling part of, of the of the product, what is it that you would say to engineers out there that why is it that they should choose Mascot Power Supplies? What is it about your product line that makes it unique? I think in the, in the way that we have the the unique features of uh, being able to um, to um, come and provide uh, solutions like cabling, like whatever uh, power requirements and stuff. Yeah, uh, those are the things that uh, we can. We can work closely with you on. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, if you want to have a hundred thousand pieces, maybe we're not interested. We want to talk to you about that because we, uh, it's not like limited capacity, but it's realistically, uh, you know, have something about the quantity uh, that you're looking at. But if you, if you think of uh, the the kind of. Um, uh, custom things that you want to have done. Yeah. Uh, you need to find someone that is also willing to do that in a reasonable time, uh, and that is that is really our uh, strong suit or strong card into this. Um, uh, Price-wise, we probably won't be uh, the, the most competitive in this, but um, uh, if you're looking at uh, the average spec customer that we have, and we can provide uh, cost, um, products for them within four five weeks. On a spec, uh, 50 pieces, decent price. Uh, that that is wouldn't. So, in some ways, I, I think when you talk about specifications, oh, that's going to cost a lot. And no, that's not necessarily the truth. Um, we can provide a decent price. I'm not saying the best price, but competitive prices. But, but what for you customers. get, what you get for yeah. your money, yeah. is a, a, a top quality, high end power yeah. supply that's been designed by people who really know their stuff. Where, like you say, you've targeted the, the medical industries. You've, they, 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 they conform to most standards around the world. So you really are getting a, a power supply that really can do a lot. And so it might look expensive on paper, but in reality, it's actually a very cost-effective solution. And, and then for an engineer thinking that, oh, I need to go for the standard mm -hmm. stuff, uh, and, and or uh, maybe uh, saying, oh, I, I can't get the, uh, the custom cables mm -hmm. or the custom things that I want because that's going to cost a lot. Yeah. Um, then uh, let's have a talk first yes. and, and, uh, and to clarify that, um, to, to be uh, then uh, in this uh, uh, world of saying, no, I, 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 we, that you cannot do. Well, uh, ask us, and we, we might come up with something that is uh, within reach. Interesting. Yes. Right. Well, that was a fantastic interview, and thank you for taking the time to talk to us today. That was great to meet you, by the way. Thank, thank you. Very you. Much.